What's up guys, welcome to your 5th 3D's Max tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys how to bind objects together and we're going to be building some pipes to make it look like a bendy straw like you'd get at McDonald's or something and we're going to be binding it together with another tube so let's go ahead and click tube right here and create our first tube so I'm going to create something like this and make sure you drag down instead of up and now let's go ahead and modify it set radius 1 which is the inner radius to something like 6 and then set the radius 2 which is just a little bit bigger to 7 and now I'm gonna go ahead and change the height if I go ahead and drag out here I can see a little more um, go ahead and gotta select it again select it modify and change that height until you think you got like that looks like the height of a straw so go ahead and I'm just gonna move this up so it's above the plane and I'm gonna go ahead and create another room remember your radius is 6 and 7 and you can change the other height to whatever you want so go ahead and create tube and let's go ahead and create another one drag out drag out drag down and now change your radius 1 to 6 change your radius 2 to 7 and then go ahead and scroll your height until you think that looks good and now let's go ahead and move this so it's a little bit closer so in your top one move it to the top or uh, move it closer to one another and then in your left or any time or your front it really doesn't matter go ahead and drag it up so they are close to one another they don't need to be touching actually you probably want them a little far apart like that so now we got two tubes that are the same radius but different heights and as you can see we're missing um, just the bendy part of the straw right now so that's what we're going to create so let's zoom in on this since we don't need all that and go ahead and instead of your standard primitives and make sure you're in your crate still go ahead and click or click extended primitives and then go ahead and click hose and we're going to create a hose right now so just go ahead and drag out and drag up and now we got a hose and I know that this isn't um, on top of this or whatever but that doesn't really matter right now so in the first thing we want to do before we even change the diameter or anything like that is go ahead and connect it so what you need to do in let's just go ahead and I'm on deselect this select your hose and go up to modify and that way I can I just like working and modify better go ahead and click bound to object pivots so go ahead and select that and that's gonna allow you to bind it bind this hose that we just created to your sections of your pipe or tube so go ahead and pick top object click that and this allows you to click your top object and now it says top tube 2 so now let's go ahead and click pick I mean bottom object and go ahead and press that and now you see our hose is bound to our tubes so let's scroll out a little bit and now that it's bound to our tubes we need to fix it up a little bit so the first thing that we're going to want to do is change the tension so just change it to something that looks nice like 32 and just mess around with it like 18 for the bottom uh, that looks good now aside from that what we want to do is set the start and end value in this uh, depends you always want to go zero to start and a hundred to end so let me zoom up in here and I'll show you what happens if you don't go to zero or hundred so if you go like from fifty percent then the only thing you're editing is fifty percent of the tube so you want to start at zero and go to hundred and this way you can edit the entire hose I mean not the tube so after that what we want to do is probably go to cycles and what cycles means is pretty much in this case how many bends so we probably want to go something that looks good that's too much like nine that looks good and now this diameter right here right under common host parameters this is the diameter of your uh, let's see you see the outer ridges right here and your inner ridges when it expands out and in the diameter under common hose properties is your diameter of your inner so let's go ahead and set that to something like let me see something that looks good 13 that looks pretty good to me so if we change it if it we uh, decide it looks bad we can always come back 
And now we want to go under hose shape, and this is the last thing we're going to do. And we're going to want to change the parameter, or excuse me, the diameter of the entire hose. So go ahead and probably the ble blessed, not blessed, I'm blessed. The best view for viewing this is the top, since you can see the diameter of the top hose. So go ahead and click this again, or uh, your hose, and go ahead and change the parameter, or excuse me, how come I keep saying parameter? Diameter of your hose by just scrolling down until it fits like right there. So that looks good from the top view, and also the perspective view, if we zoom in, that looks pretty good as well. So now we have a bendy straw, and we can go ahead and change our views with our view cube, and bam, look at that. So probably the only things you want to do now is you can change the color by clicking like color, set them all the same, change this color, and then go ahead and change this color, and just make sure they're all uniform color, so it kind of looks like, you know, a straw is all the same color, so got to keep it like that. And now, if you want to see this kind of moving around, go ahead and select the shorter tube that we just created, and go ahead and in the move tool, and you can see what happens when we move our straw around. The bendable part stays with it since we connected or bound those objects. And we can go ahead and move it down, side to side, um, left to right. And we can also click rotate, and we want to make sure, and we can go ahead and rotate it like this. So that is how you bind objects to one another. Again, anytime you want to bind an object, just in the modifying panel, um, with the hose, click bound to object pivots, and then you pick your two objects you want to bind it to. And that's pretty much it for this tutorial on how to create a bendy strut or how to create a piping system and connect them with hoses. Again, I use tubes and hoses. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And in the next tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create something um, a little more advanced probably. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next tutorial.